uh, from Tai Shi Da, so Taiwan Shifan Da Xue, um, and in uh, literature, um, she's worked a lot on travel writing, um, and this is also one of the topics that she will be addressing, or the topic that she will be addressing um, uh, today, and in the next three lectures that she will be giving. And so I would invite you to warmly, warmly welcome Professor Lin, and I will make this as big as possible so that you can see um, what Professor Lin is going to introduce to you. Um, so we will warmly welcome you and actually everyone in Germany is knocking on their tables um, and yeah. start off uh, with your lecture, Lin Yeah, and uh, thanks for Professor Barra inviting me to participate in the Taiwan Lecture Series. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to share my uh, uh, academic books. The first is collection of Taiwan custom records of missionary Wang Shu Jing. And uh, another is uh, the post development and cultural changes in Taiwan during Qing ruling period. It's uh, from uh, 1683 to 1895. And so many uh, uh, Chinese officers came to Taiwan and they write down their experience. And after that, I focus on three topics. is customs, memory, and the environment, cultural discourse of Taiwan literature. And I uh, collect so many first-hand data and build a digital uh, platform. So it's a digital archive. And uh, I think it's um, meaningful of travel writing. So I focus on the Japanese colonial period and the mood of traveler. I talk about the Taiwanese, they travel uh, to, to a boat and they write down their travel writing. And I have organized a international conference. The topic is space time transfer, literature, landscape, culture, uh, uh, landscape, uh, translation and language contact. And so the landscape, I see it's uh, meaningful. And I rewrite uh, the paper and, and it's easy uh, to read for undergraduate students and it's for the course. The course name is Travel Literature and Culture. So I, I always focus on the travel and, uh, and, and recently I uh, rewrite some paper and the, the map of the cover, uh, the, the cover of the book is uh, Yan Guonian. And in Japanese colonial period, Lin Xientang and Lin Guolin, they travel all over the world and they write down their uh, travel log. And I talk about represent culture and imagine the, the and uh, discuss the moving during modern period in Taiwan. And um, and I I'm teach a course, it's Taiwan fiction, so I write some paper and one, one paper is discuss the uh, Wu Zhuo Liu or another uh, writer, they, they not just write down their uh, fiction and in, in combine the travel. So imagine space time in Taiwan fiction. And today I would like to uh, focus on the martial period. Uh, Travel narration is not only an important form of knowledge, but a significant way to understand the world. Since Ma uh, Marshall Peter discovered on uh, May 20, 1949, Taiwan's Marshall period has lasted for uh, as long as uh, 38 years of uh, from deriving people of freedom of a summary association as track to um, modi, modi, modifying news, magazines, and almost uh, all the publications. The government distract people's thought and uh, behavior. The period was called uh, white terror. And I, and, uh, I asked some questions. What's the background? when these travelers publish their travel narrations, or how to choose a visit rules. 
what reflections of um, cross-cultural application are revealed. And I, I choose uh, two cases. Uh, one is uh, in Haiguang, it's, uh, it, um, it settled in Taiwan. And how, and I think it, I will talk about in the, the, the uh, about his travel and not just travel or his uh, letters to his family. And another is Wu Zhuo Liao, and he write down so many travelers and uh, his, uh, he, it's the list of uh, his experience of travel after he retirement retired. And the methodology I use the uh, focus on the travel and the narrative and it and the structural feeling and space zeros. And like the uh, uh, Raymond Cannon, he talked about the uh, narratology. But he thinks it's not just a technique of literature, it's a development uh, of narratology. Is it by historical, cultural, cultural, and the social situation? And another is structural feeling. Uh, the Raymond K. Williams, he said, uh, literature and art are the best way for us to approach the structural feeling of a certain area. So uh, and another is uh, about the landscape. The Michel said, uh, landscape is a media of cultural expression. So I, I uh, would like to separate my topic, uh, my lecture to uh, from the introduction methodology and uh, the result that I, I talk about the uh, uh, I use the many first hand data. For example, the uh, uh, in Hai Guang's uh, he, his uh, travel log published in uh, Free China and not just uh, published on the magazine, um, including the newspaper or he write down so many letters and. I didn't know so many detail until I read the, the letters because the the uh the travel log is published on the magazine or on the newspaper is open, but later is secret. So the more emotional feeling inside the letters. And uh, mm, so it, Taiwan's uh it's uh one of the main contacts of lip. Uh, liberalism in Taiwan is high, highly related to the war history. Uh, Free China magazine was helpful in promoting liberal democracy in Taiwan, but uh, unfortunately it was later banned. It was a, a frequent uh, contributor. And his uh, travel log uh, uh, published on the, in different media including the Free China Motherland uh, Weekly. The, the magazine is, uh, is, uh, is a company in Hong Kong. So um, when I read the travel log, I would like to show about how to uh, draw his uh, travel route. And I use the as, uh, uh, tour to write down his uh, route and uh, it, uh, it's uh, in 1955, in from January to June. And before he came to America, he, uh, he went to the Japan for a while. So but I think it's meaningful because uh, he, 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 he found he misunderstanding of the me media in the past six years because he just read the newspaper and imagine uh, Japan. But uh, so the, in the past six years, newspaper have only uh, reported, reported the Japanese policy and without um, mention any other issue. So uh, unfortunately, people have uh, misunderstood Japan as a pure political exit. So, and when, I, I, 
I found the uh, uh, paragraph is uh, it's so important. Uh, uh, in Haiguan, he wrote uh, about the and uh, the travelogue. Uh, assume that you are uh, locked in a building, but uh, the sun rises and the moon sets on time. How did you uh, know the, the sure for sure that if your knowledge world is an artificial fact world? When I uh, I'm a business guy, as so was in London. I read the the a book is a plot. So I, I found well, I, I found a, a, a photo is part allegory of the calf. I see and I connect and I have read the uh, in Hai Guang's travel log. I think um, uh, he, he is a, a professor of philosopher. So he have uh, he he have read uh, the 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 uh, allegory, allegory. So I think. Uh, it's a, uh, he, he said, unless they jump up the set of arrangement to know how they are sold and destroy the land and then see through the truth. But he learned, however, such an opportunity is very rare after all. So it, it's, uh, it's not just uh, he, he, uh, he went to the Japan and he just see uh, the purpose. He think about the uh, um, the arrangement is mainly about the political power intervention in the media and the uh, personal life. And the arrangement uh, is uh, if you didn't jump up set up the arrangement to know uh, how they are sold and yeah it will have to this taught and see through the truth it is difficult so and another case is uh they uh, he went to the uh american he visits so many uh historical historical landscape heritage and for example uh, uh lexington is the first battle of the war of independence or some some landscape is uh, talk about the first place of American freedom. And another uh, important landscape is Washington, Washington Lane uh, Lakeside. And I, I went to Seattle to, uh, to participate in the international conference. And I, I think, wow, I can understand the, the mood of uh, In Hai Guang. He wrote, uh, he wrote uh, look around and uh, it's really colorful and fashionable. People here are uh, wondering uh, the, about the uh, next side, uh, eating ice cream or uh, is, uh, exercising or playing card with family. And he admired uh, their way of enjoying their lives, not just for the nation or for any uh, purpose. And he said, uh, he was sitting in the crowd and he felt very lonely and uh, unable to fix it. He, he, he saw the American freestyle uh, lifestyle and especially admired that for living for themselves. And he, even he left the West uh, more than the East. Uh, he even he went to the Harvard University to be a business scholar. But he he loved the nature. But when he sit there, he uh, like the nature's uh, the landscape uh, of Seattle. But he feel lonely and uh, sorry for sorry for because he especially admire they uh, live in the free and easy life um, just for themselves. And he said. And he, so I, I, when I went to Seattle, even on the airplane, I took the pictures. Uh, it's so many forests and uh, the lake. So I think uh, it's not just the landscape. But in Hai Guang said, I'm not like anyone who has been to US. I don't finally worship Western culture. I stay uh, highly judgmental. 
So he sings a la American like a kind of style and under the influence of a highly industrialized civilization. So he, he criticized some American like a kind of style and, uh, and he, uh, he's saying his uh, culture in, in, in balance. And he had been uh, in, write the letter to Einstein, wrote the letter when he, he stayed at uh, Harvard University and he criticized the suffering experience for a limitation of mind. And I think it's another metaphor. Uh, he compared the, the uh, tutorial training to a uh, uh, poisonous uh, snake. The, he described the uh, nerve, uh, nerve occupied a kind of venom, so like a, a snake. When the nerves are taken away uh, from the ruler, the officer, they lose the less the hope of recovery. And he reminded getting rid of the influence of a uh, source uh, plague to uh, avoid uh, being in Impact by the villain. So it, it's a, a metaphor. So even uh, in his diary, he, he said uh, in, uh, in the letter that he write down the letter uh, uh, to his, his wife. And he said uh, he uh, mentioned that he was in a place full of snacks and beets. He described Taiwan as a, a place with too many rest restrictions, leaving no space for him to live. And another on uh, February 6th, he, she, he said only in a difficult, painful and a homeless situation, the greatness of love will be realized. So it, 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 um, in his later, he uh, showed his feeling, a truly feeling. And uh, the later between uh, he and his wife, he said, I have been away for a while. I understood, understand better now. It is too unnecessary to reason with demons and monsters. I should be a pure singer. So I, he not just uh, uh, describe the situation, and he decided which uh, direction in, in the future. So I, in a, when he visit, it's another case, when he visit the uh, uh, American primary school, he, 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 he found uh, the textbook was controlled uh, by the set, a concept of power wor worship in Taiwan at that time. So he compared with the American primary school Systems uh, and he found that uh, in Taiwan, children's feet would be domed and their ner nerves uh, would be occupied shortly and after birth. So he feels so sad because, uh, so he, he used another metaphor. He, he linked the dictatorship to the wizard who sent the ghost to harm others. So he, he suggests have to catch the ghost. Uh, he found in the, uh, in the American uh, AMA school, there are no visitors who catch, catch spells in the US. So there are no factors to kill fellow peers, the, the children. So I think, I think uh, it, uh, it's not just a uh, thing about uh, his travel or his uh, his future, he think about the Taiwanese, uh, the, especially the children. And another, uh, when he is a uh, uh, visiting scholar, he visited the Harvard University Museum and he, he saw the gas flower and he, the, he think it's the combined, com combination of the science and the art. So he suggests uh, have to visit uh, different, uh, more museum to broaden Hosean and uh, cultivate spirit. 
and I, I took the picture with the volunteer at the Harvard uh, University Museum. And um, this, I think the uh, in Haiguang, there are, there are more uh, story in inside his letter, but we always ignore but because uh, like Wu Zhuo, we always think he is a novelist. He is a, a fiction writer. Uh, we uh, didn't write uh, read his uh, travelogue. But uh, in, in Haiguang, he is a professor of a uh, philosopher. We always talk about the academic, uh, 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 his uh, academic book and uh, talk about his uh, contribution of philosophy. But I think the travelogue is the uh, is a material. So I I would like to uh, talk about another case is Wu Zhuo why he can travel to uh, many countries during the martial period because uh, he worked as a coordinator of Taiwan Association of uh, Machinery uh, Industry. So he can join the team and uh, uh, like a uh, uh, visitor. So, and he's so special because he always uh, writing and traveling and he had been a reporter, so he write quickly. And he not just uh, write down his experience, he, uh, uh, I ask question, how does Wu Zhuo project his situation in the text through the narrative strategy of intertextuality? So I would like to uh, know his uh, travel rules. So I use the, uh, the satellites and it's the uh, travel rules in 1968. I, I wrote down uh, his route by according, uh, speaking of village, and it's so many countries. Even it's a tour, tour, uh, but it's uh, write down his uh, observation. So I, I, how I can use the tour because it is the uh, open, so open street map, and I satellite the test and the, uh, his travel route and. Uh, Meanwhile, use the satellite uh, position method to record his uh, travel. And when he went to the uh, uh, school land, um, he to observe uh, like a social security system uh, from the birth to the death and the, the nursing home and the hosp uh, 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 hospital inquirement are all uh, established, he in, in, he criticized the ph uh, phenomenon of injustice caused by the social system during the period, uh, um, martial period in Taiwan. So he in compare and uh, he criticized. So it's uh in during the martial period. So he not just uh, see the citizen as uh. uh uh, it's not just uh, compare so many uh, uh, situation. He use the landscape to uh, to see. maybe is another metaphor like the speak speaker corner in London. Uh, Udo, uh, he the landscape can contains the code of the culture when visiting uh, the landscape. It is a meaningful uh, decoding of landscape. For example, the uh, uh, Ujula described his travel. Uh, the corner, the speaker corner, it are uh, record his personal uh, pers personal observation. He 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 found everyone can go on the stage and uh, freely uh, express their. Uh, source or political view. This landscape is also a place for public opinion. Ujura express uh, his deeply feeling of freedom of speech. So uh, uh, another uh, landscape is a uh, state of liberty. I, I read so many travelers from uh, even in the uh, Japanese colonial period Xiantang, or many uh, travelers, they talk about the liberty, state of liberty. But 
which was is different. He 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 write down the not just the travel essays. He write the classical uh traditional poetry, and he said the freedom is dead day. The war is chaotic because uh it's the Vietnam War. I think it so it's not just uh, say or it's a metaphor of the uh, uh, freedom. So he questioned whether the United States ahead to the concept of freedom. So uh, the Woodrow is so different. He not just uh, write down the experience and then questioned. And another um, landscape is Washington Mo Monument. He said, uh, I would uh, pursue freedom until old age. Even he's old, but he still uh, designed the it, the, the, the desire is always difficult to feel, fulfill. And the landscape is uh, as a medium to spread the free code. So it shows the design for freedom. And see, it's, uh, the, this metaphor uh, significant the long, uh, longing for pursuit of freedom in life. And another uh, travelogue is uh, he, uh, he went to the uh, India, Australia, New Zealand uh, in uh, 1975. So I, I, I draw the uh, map uh, according to the travel log. And when he went to the uh, New Zealand, he found uh, the Moli, uh, the Aboriginal people, and he compared with the Taiwan indigenous people. Because uh, in, in, in Taiwan, the indigenous people resist Japanese aggression for 36 years in Taiwan. And the Maori, they, uh, they against the, the, the rules uh, for uh, 33, 30 years. So uh, he compared the situation and he, he found a, uh, it's a, he, why he can uh, more emphasize because uh, in curious the situation of an equal treatment of the uh, uh, colonialism in Taiwan during the Japanese colonial period. And he, he not just witnessed and he feel the encounter with the ethnic group in the border area with embassy. So I think uh, they are and there's uh, another case because uh, he compared with the Japanese current period, the uh, and the, the Maori when the, the British let the Maori conservate their language and uh, and and teach the language in at school, but however Japanese use the uh, policy to uh, to uh, obey the language and the national con uh, consciousness of Taiwanese. Although the slogan refer to equality, but there is a vast difference of salary or, uh, between the Taiwanese and Japanese. So he uh, he he said a travel log uh, present the what what the this the like side say uh, the issue of the race and the colonial policy. So because he, uh, he uh, so I think it's uh, not just the, uh, it, it's not just uh, describe the different country culture he compare and he had find some uh, uh, freedom uh, issue. For example, another uh, travelogue is uh, to uh, Africa and uh, India. And in 1976, so I think wow, it's time. So quickly. Uh, so it, it's the end it, because there are uh, 20 million black, uh, black people in South Africa and only uh, 3.5 million white. So, so and he is he, he, seeing the, the uh, and another Rudencia uh, or Republic of South Africa. He uh, dependent in 1961, but in 1976, apartheid uh, uh, politics was still practiced. So he, he found so many uh, different 
uh, even he went to the cab of a golf club, he found the, he, he write down the poetry, it's uh, why people are like the tiger and the wolves, or uh, Rudancia, uh, freedom is not released in the system, even is in uh, dependent in 1965, or he described the black and ants, or the uh, uh, the uh, tiger and the wolf is de described the page from the white people. And yeah, in Kenya, he praised the freedom in Kenya, independence, implying the longing for freedom. And it, there are so many cases, but I would like to, maybe the, the time limit, so I would like to conclusion my, my, uh, my lecture, uh, because- uh, Take your uh, time, take your yeah, time. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is uh, just uh, it's pre presenting the value of freedom in spatial times. And I think it's not just literature. It's, uh, they, they write down and uh, in is a power of, uh, of literature. So how to improve the society. And the traveling uh, far away create the distance because you jump out. So which is useful uh, for critical Philosophical thinking. Uh, travelers are in a, a unique position. They and uh, the uh, re review the past. So it's not just a memory. They they not just write down some uh, past, but he revise their outlook on life, and they choose a direction for the future. So I think I think uh, we have a. Uh, pay more attention of the travel literature or culture. And yeah, and th <laughs> uh, thank you for your listening. I, um, I hope that you enjoy my lecture and maybe uh, ask some question or give me some feedback. Yeah, thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we could listen very, very well. And um, I'm looking forward now to a discussion of what you have um, uh, presented to us. It seemed to me that um, there's some of the points that you were making in the beginning when you talked about um, literature as a possible way or writings as a possible way to approach structures of feeling. Um, and this idea that landscapes can actually uh, reflect on mm -hmm. um, larger political um, constellations became very, very clear in uh, what you have uh, presented from, from the two writers, from Inhai Guang and uh, Wu Zhuolio. Um, mm -hmm. It might be uh, useful for the students um, if you give a little bit um, more of a background on how, for example, the these travel writings were then disseminated in Taiwan mm -hmm. and whether they had an impact. So it has it because you began to write, you began to show the, the journal um, mm -hmm. in some of the, the in Haiguang, I think writings were published, but with this journal was uh, of course uh, a journal that the government, uh, the Guomindang government <laughs> support, right? Um, so how was actually the writings by these two scholars, which was very much protest writing, one could say, um, against the white terror and against the Kuomintang government, how was that actually disseminated uh, in Taiwan and how then could it become uh, powerful? So that would be my question. And then I'm sure that there are other <laughs> questions by the students, but maybe you can start. And uh, those of you who want to ask a question, please come here so that uh, Lin Laosha can also um, see you. Um, yes, but maybe first this question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, he, uh, he, even he write down so many letters, but at that time they didn't uh, uh, public. Uh, he, he didn't uh, publish, but uh, uh, he write so many uh, travel blogs on the uh, Free China, and even in in uh, uh, he hadn't come back to Taiwan. He had to submit some traveler to the journal or to the magazine. So it's open, it's an opinion. But even uh, at that time, they maybe he uh, his influence uh, 
limit, but until now, uh, some uh, of his uh, student they they uh, uh, re re collect his uh, all of the, his book and uh, republic uh, re uh, public pub, uh, publish it, and uh, there uh, his uh, his uh, student thanks for the st uh, teacher. They give them uh, so many different idea, and they they encourage them. So some of the, uh, their um, and maybe it's uh in Hawaii use the metaphor, but the the is uh, the the and it, it the metaphor is uh it touch uh, the reader's heart. It's not just directly to criticize, but maybe it's uh, another power of the literature. You can think about the situation, so you can uh, talk about. Uh, maybe it, it's limited at that time, but how can you how can you decide it? Uh, the your future or you uh, the reader can can think about deeply, not just the. Uh, follow the government state, <laughs> I think. And um, yeah, yeah, the uh, it, it's so sad because uh, uh, the later or uh, the some uh, some article didn't publish at that time. But most of uh, his uh, academic book is published yeah, in Marshall during Marshall period. So it's influenced some some uh, uh, especially the student. Yeah. The, not just for his student and uh, another uh, reader. So in and in the in the last speech, he went to the university. Even he he have to uh, they uh, he have to the government officer uh, uh, didn't let him to teach it at the uh, uh, Taiwan University, National Taiwan University. But uh, some uh, student invite to him to another uh, university to take a speak and give them a talk. The, me uh, the title is The Meaning of Life. So I think it influenced them. It's not just uh, criticize the, the policy. He, he talked about what's the meaning of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a really um, important part. There was a question back there. No, um, to, to show that intellectuals, um, even if they are censored, like these two were mm -hmm. right, um, during, during the white terror period, uh, can still have their ways of disseminating their knowledge and, and um, uh, by sort of talking about Africa, talking about the US, talking about, you know, something <laughs> else, um, actually talk about very local um, pro problems that, that hit home. Right, that are very very important uh, in at home, um, and so you know this these two um, intellectuals are a good example um, of what um, has happened under situations of dictatorship in many parts of the world, and how you can still you know uh, somehow do something for your home um, through uh, different types of writing, right? Um, mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. I, I talked a lot um, and I, I hope that some of you also based on the readings that you have done, I know that some of you have already yeah. engaged it's a lot. Really hard. <laughs> yes, um, maybe you know you can compare because uh, you read the fictional work by Wu Zhuolio, um, the orphan, right, Asian mm -hmm. of Asia, um, rather than his travel writing. Um, maybe one of the questions could be, uh, to you, uh, Lin Lao Shi, um, what the difference actually is between uh, Wu Zhuolio as a fictional writer and Wu Zhuolio in his uh, in his travel writings? Is he more political in one or the other? Um, or does the genre prescribe certain ways of writing? So his political is more important in his travel writing? Yeah, I think both. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, both. Because the fiction is a uh, is fiction. It's not a real world, but he 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 is a reporter too. So he always uh, witness the historical events, and he would like to write down. But at that time, maybe not just directly to to write down the, so many events. He used the uh, it is a uh, 
uh, I'll say it, it's more emotional, but, but it touched the readers. Um, and they, they can think about a, a, a kind, a, another way to, to think why, uh, why the, uh, why the environment, or even we 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 stay there, but we how can we uh, survive? <laughs> so I think, and he he have a more uh, ability, uh, all uh, he responsibility because he he is a witness, and he he if he didn't write down the we can't imagine that. So he used the fiction and he travel log, but a traveler is the uh, he go there. So he is he can compare with different culture, but the fiction it is uh, the main first. Uh, he is a is a, another chapter. So it is not the uh, uh, the author. So I think it's different kind of uh, style of writing. But I think he, he always talk about the uh, 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 human rights issue. I think the uh, the topic is similar, but different style. Even the classical poetry, he is special. Like like her, he can write the novel, and then he can write the uh, traditional poetry. Yeah. So, uh, but it's different uh, kind of uh, test. But they always concern the the freedom, the human rights all the situation yeah or how to improve the society yes there's a question what come, wow. come here <laughs> so. hello hello Thank you for your um seminar uh for your talk so actually it's more like some comments um maybe also questions um i find the idea of um analyzing travel logs really interesting also because usually uh we read the novels or the big works of writers and i feel like their diaries or their journals <laughs> or their travel logs are usually kind of ignored or not taken as seriously but actually by reading those works i think we are much we are we are able to actually grasp uh, their view on things and also when they write a diary or travelogues, there's much more um, freedom of actually expressing all the nuances that you, um, all, the, all the thoughts also contradictory that you have with regard to a certain subject. So I, I do see the value of um, looking mm -hmm. at those kinds of texts. Um, Thank you. Also, you talked a lot about the fact that he uses metaphors and um, mm -hmm. that was also like we were able to read that in the um, Orphan of Asia as well. I mean, orphan is a big metaphor. So I was kind of wondering um, how applicable would that metaphor still be today for Taiwan? And um, with the thought that language can actually create reality or influence certain visions on um, situations that we have, wouldn't it be rather um, uh, destructive to use um, like negatively connotated metaphors such as orphan to describe Taiwan, which is not really belonging to anywhere, but that would mm -hmm. also mean that it cannot create a belonging of its own in a way. So what what would you think about this this employment of certain very powerful metaphors still to to denote the state of Taiwan. Yeah, uh, thank you for your response and your feedback. Oh, the um, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I found uh all the, the fiction they have to translate it, but the travel log they didn't and any uh travel writing they uh, uh translate by another uh languages or diary or letters. So I think uh it's um. Uh, Maybe uh, in the future we we can talk about if uh um some travel log is important maybe we can put it inside a textbook or or travel log uh, or uh, later is uh it's a perspective of the right traveler and I think um what's the metaphor I think uh, uh before I just uh do it uh, do it quickly do it directly or or. Uh, so many uh, scholars they say, oh, uh, fiction have many metaphors and they use the 
artificial uh, style, but the, the travel literature, travel writing just uh, describe the landscape. But I think it's not just the landscape, it's the media. So uh, and, and it's not just for Taiwan, Taiwanese, but Taiwanese have to face a difficult situation still now. But uh, another country, the citizen, they uh, they have to uh, they they sometimes they uh, a similar situation because the for example someone uh, didn't uh, have no rights of the speak or publication or some human rights still now in all, all over the world. So I think it, uh, it's it's uh, another metaphor. You you didn't criticize the. Uh, the uh, government in your country, but you can compare with the different country, and the, the metaphor is uh, is a symbol and is uh, the the value and the war value. So I think it's not just the uh, just take a picture and write down some notes. It, it is uh, he he uh, put some uh, valuable or meaningful inside the, the test. I think yeah. so, and maybe I uh, if I wrote down my travel log, I will use I will learn from them. The, the, not just uh, so uh, some some writer told me. Now we we always see in the uh, WhatsApp, uh, the uh, Facebook or Instagram, it's not a travel log. It's not a travel literature. It's just write down. But if you put a uh, more uh, philosopher or historical background or some some metaphor or in inside your feeling is it, is a literature. Or you put on your perspective and or your opinion. And I, I, they say oh it's a, it, it's a, it's more um uh how's it? uh it's more literary. <laughs> I think so metaphor is not just for the poetry or fiction. I think the essays, prose, we we still can use that. And especially the uh, the travel is real, and you you it on on the side. So maybe you can keep the keep the point and to the reader. So they they didn't come there or they just imagine it. All they have been, but you, they can compare with their experience. So I think the metaphor is a a tool to uh, describe the the metaphor deeply. The, the meaning of deeply, yeah, yeah, yeah. May I answer your question? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found it only um also interesting to to have this metaphor of uh, Taiwan as an orphan um because in the previous section of our course um this um state of not belonging to any um other country mm -hmm. or of situating um of Taiwan situating itself in kind of an in-between space, it was rather seen as something positive because it there's still um all the options are open and actually there's a there's a um there's a space where Taiwan has freedom of decision, um, mm -hmm. siding, for instance, with the US in some affairs, but also not cutting completely the line with the PRC. So mm -hmm. I feel like this um this indecisiveness uh, or this not belonging can also be seen as something positive. And then stamping Taiwan as an orphan um, is actually the other extreme of seeing it as something like mm -hmm. a lost country or um um, not knowing where it should go. Um, and so I just thought um, this is an <laughs> interesting, very different perspective also on, on the matter. Yeah, thank you. You are understanding different. our situation. We can to reconcile the two points of view, I think, uh, Lin Lausche, and we will continue the discussion tomorrow in the, in the discussion. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> talk too much. Um, <laughs> Because in a way, an orphan can also choose the to choose new parents, for example, right? So then, then uh, Maya, then actually, should you use? Uh, I'm not entirely sure that I I think that he is he's putting it positively only, uh, but should we we they the previous section was done by Shuji, right? Who in the end had this crazy idea of uh, give <laughs> give Taiwanese two passports. <laughs> one American and one PRC, and then they can decide. So that was the, the 
open open uh, possibility um but i think you know the orphan also has options right and the orphan can choose one you know new parents and not not the original parents obviously um and so so maybe you know we will discuss more of this tomorrow yeah tomorrow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I look forward to listening your all of your opinion because yes. you, you you write down some uh, some uh, essays. Interesting thoughts, one, right? And I just want to show so you that so oh, that you can oh, 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 I, I have been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah wonderful test room. Yeah, hello. <laughs> and tomorrow you will see them all. We will we will be able to to sit in okay. a classroom so okay. that you can you can see us, right? Um yeah, so, thank you. <laughs> very yeah. nice having you here. Good, evening, but, uh, good, good afternoon, but now it's good night. <laughs> Yes, good night. And if you want, it would be, I think, very useful for the class to, if you could share your PowerPoint, just, you know, send it to me so we can put upload okay. it on the on the Moodle sites, then everybody can have a look again. Um, okay. I, we want to thank you. We will knock again um, okay. for, for staying up so late. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.